What's coming on guys, Storko back again, hope you're fantastic today, and welcome back to a tier list video. Today's topic is Five Nights at Freddy's teasers. We are going to be ranking all of the FNAF Scott Games teasers, starting back from 2014. We're going to take a nice little nostalgia trip, looking back at all of the old teasers, specifically FNAF 2, the sister location, that's where the juicy teasers were. If you guys are new to FNAF from Security Breach and stuff, this is how FNAF used to be teased. Back in the olden times, there was a website called scottgames.com. And Scott Cawthon, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, used that website all of the time to show new gameplay images of the FNAF games and also teasers that he made himself, which everybody went crazy and wild for. A bunch of YouTube theory videos popped up, including me, Fusion Z Gamer, Pro Class Gamer, Raz, 8-Bit Gaming. However, before we start today's video, Night Guard Dorco wants to say hello. The new Night Guard Dorco U2s has just dropped with all of the other Glamrock Security Breach animatronics. Holding the, holding the Freddy Fazbear mask, this is like how I would be in FNAF 2 as a Night Guard. Got the beautiful flashlight, my outfit with my Dorco name tag. Uh, crouching down with my flashlight looking terrified like I've just discovered the parts and service room and Wither Cheek has turned to look at me. So yeah, I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. Not only that guys, you two have made a FNAF AR experience for you guys to check out with all of the Security Breach u 2s figures and Night Guard Dorco 2. It's completely free and I'll put a link to that in the description below. It's a nice little experience, survive until 6am. You have to keep the lights on the boxes. Uh, Without using too much power, you can't let them escape the U2's boxes. If you do, you get jump scared. This is the podium level, by the way, guys. This is where we put the images before putting them on. So the first one is just Five Nights at Freddy's, the original FNAF poster. The original FNAF image on scottgames.com. And this was when he had, like, the Pilgrim Progress and stuff on the website as well. This one's a really hard one to rank because I wouldn't say this is really a teaser. It was just an image on scottgames.com. But it's iconic, right? It's the it's the original one. I can't really put it anywhere else. Like, it's just, it's just mid. A little bit above average uh, because it because of the nostalgic reasons and it's pretty fast bear and that iconic pose so yeah we'll just keep it at a b number two is of withered freddy the grand reopening this is the first fnaf 2 teaser and everybody went wild at this point we'll talk more about that soon when we see the other fnaf 2 teasers and then leading to fnaf 3 that was when it got really big for teasers. I'm going to put this on A. It came out super quick. It came out in November, just a couple of months after. Just a few months after FNAF 1. Put FNAF 2 on A, because I do think it's better than the first FNAF 1 one. I think it's better than the first Freddy one. Uh, it confirmed that FNAF 2 was happening. Uh, it made people think, oh my god, it's going to be a sequel. It's a grand reopening. But in fact, it was a prequel. Plot twist. Uh, we'll put it on A. Now, like I said, guys, this is when Scott was making his own teasers of his new characters that he's making for the game. This is Withered Bonnie and Toy Bonnie. So you guys remember this one, right? This was iconic. This was our first glimpse of Toy Bonnie and Withered Bonnie. Uh, we still thought back then that that was FNAF 1 Bonnie with the face ripped off. Uh, we didn't think it was an even older animatronic back then. It was really cool to see. Again, it got a lot of people hyped and stuff. I would say this is one of my favourite FNAF 2 teasers out of all of them. So I'm going to put this on S tier. But the reason being, it's my favourite FNAF 2 teaser. Something old, something new. Everybody remembers that quote and thinks of FNAF 2, right? Thanks to the Withered Bonnie Toy Bonnie teaser. The next one is of Foxy and Mangle with the number two. Now, again, this is the first time we got to see Mangle, the reveal of Mangle, actually not looking withered. You know, it was a real shock to see how withered Mangle was uh, for the first time when this teaser showed that Mangle looked okay. And Mangle had a hook as well. So I'm going to put this on B. Uh, first time seeing Mangle, it was a nice teaser. Not as good as the Bonnie one, in my opinion. So we'll put Mangle on B. No place to run. I remember this one. I remember watching Fusion's video about this. Seeing Withered Foxy, having the mask on, no place to run, and seeing this Withered Foxy. And this was when we noticed, hold on, this doesn't look like the FNAF 1 Foxy. This is a different Foxy that we haven't seen yet. Again, more of a nostalgic one to me. This is one that I remember all the time. No place to run with the Freddy mask on. So I am going to put this Foxy teaser on 
eye. The first glimpse of the puppet. Again, this one was a really good one. Showing the puppet for the first time. Seeing all the cameras and the map of the FNAF 2 location. Although it is a teaser, it's just a, you know, it's just a screenshot picture, right? Um, it's still iconic and stuff, seeing the first, seeing the puppet for the first time. But Scott's made better teasers, right? This is just like a gameplay uh, screenshot and showing the puppet for the first time. So I'll put this as C. I'm going to try and be a bit more balanced and not just put everything on S tier, you know? I've got to put some a bit lower. So I'll put the puppet teaser on C. Now, who remembers the offline image? I remember this. This was after FNAF 2, obviously, to prepare for FNAF 3. I think it was just offline with a black screen for a bit. It changed where you brightened up the offline image and you could see a number 3 at the bottom right. Something like that to confirm that FNAF 3 is happening. Again, al although it is just an offline it did have the number three on later on to confirm that FNAF 3 is happening. And I remember a lot of people getting excited for that. So we'll put offline as the C tier. This one was very brief, but it was there. Um, it was a very short one, though. I, remember, I, I don't remember this being up for a long time. It was of he always does in purple. And that was to do with, with the trailer. Um, he always comes back. He always does. Uh... An F, to be honest. It's just text saying he always does. It's not that, you know, it's not that huge. This next one has got to go with an S tier. I'm not even going to explain it straight away. That is just an instant S tier. This image caused so much uproar and debate in the FNAF community when it came out. It's got to be an S tier because I just remember it to this day. Um, I remember loads of people flip reversing this image and it looked like Fred Bear and everybody was like, oh my God, we're going to get Fred Bear in FNAF 3. And I remember uh, Golden Foxy theories as well. Golden Foxy, uh, Fred Bear. It's crazy to look back and everybody thought this was Fred Bear at first, but it does look like Fred Bear the more you look at it. All we knew about was like Golden Freddy. We didn't really know about a Spring Bonnie costume, if you remember, because of... Fred Bear's Family Diner talked about in FNAF 2 by phone, guys. So everybody was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely Fred Bear. So, yeah, still one of the most iconic FNAF teasers. This was the peak of FNAF, just before FNAF 3, I would say. This one, again, was another great teaser of the box with the toy animatronics in. I remember everybody going crazy about this because they thought, oh, my God, this is, a, this is after FNAF 2 then. It's not just that, though, guys. When you brightened up the image, you could see something lurking in the background and i remember this was when people were saying oh this looks more like a rabbit than a fred bear when you look at it now you can clearly see that that's spring trap but back then people were like oh that could be a top hat i don't know it's still i don't know if this looks like a bonnie yet but yeah there was definitely spring trap there in the background lurking which was a, again another really cool teaser i'm gonna put this on a for our three teasers were really really good i loved those two the next one was the map of FNAF 3. I remember making a video about this. Nothing really much to show. I think when you brightened up the image, it showed the vent map as well. Showed that, And everybody thought that it was going to be two different floors. I remember that. Two different floors. I'm just going to put it at a D. Guess who? And then 10. I remember this. I remember saying this was JJ uh, because of the colours of the hat and looked more pinky. Obviously, we know now it's Phantom BB. Uh, so this was Guess Who and the number 10. And I remember everybody thinking, oh my God, what does this number 10 mean? I think Scott said in the interview that we did almost four years ago now, by the way, um, that this was going to be a countdown. I'm going to put it as a C. Then we got Phantom Chica and Phantom Foxy. Now, I remember this teaser just releasing on the release of FNAF 3. I'm pretty certain Scott released FNAF 3 early. Uh, a lot earlier than expected. He released this the same day FNAF 3 came out, I'm pretty sure. Again, I'm going to put it at a C. Uh, didn't really do much to me. I didn't. I don't even think I made a video on this because FNAF 3, again, it came out the same time. Don't even think I made a video on this. Next up is the hat. And I remember everybody saying, Oh, that's it, guys. FNAF is done. The hat is on the floor to show that it's over. The trilogy is done. There's not going to be another game after this. The hat's on the floor to show that the show is over. It's done. Hat on the floor usually represents like retirement. It's done. So I remember everybody saying, yeah, getting really sad about it, to be honest, because, you know, that's it. FNAF, FNAF's gone. 
And to think this was seven years ago and we're still making videos, we're still playing FNAF to this day, and it's still as big as it ever was. Security Breach has done insanely well, which is really exciting and, you know, crazy to think that this, you know, this franchise, this indie franchise is still going. I still really like the teaser as well, so I'm going to put it at a B. I, like, I just liked the teaser. I thought it was nice. Um, peaceful, actually, to show, you know, the top Freddy's hat is on the floor. It's done. Or oh, so we thought. So reaction. I'm, I'm still going to think it's a B. Uh, I'm putting it at a B. Uh, level with the hat. It's not like the complete opposites of each other. The hat's there. The hat's gone. So, yeah, the hat disappeared. Lo got a lot of people talking again. Like, why is the hat gone? Something's got to happen, you know. If the game was finished, if FNAF 3 was the last one... Why would Scott remove the top hat for? You know, something's going on here. And that is exactly what happened, guys. I remember refreshing Scott games and seeing this one. And of course, it's Nightmare Freddy. And I've got to put, again, I've got to put this, this as, as an S tier, guys. Because you're going to notice that a lot. Like the first reveals of the next game are all going to be S tier. Because of the excitement, you know. I'm not just writing this on the look of the teaser. Scott put a lot of effort into it, like doing model poses and stuff. It's not just that. It's about the initial reaction as well. And the excitement that people got back in the day. And seeing the Freddles there as well. Um, first reveal of this, everybody went crazy because this was the most nightmarish animatronic we've ever seen. Most complicated looking, uh, most detailed that we've ever had. To be fair though, guys, this is going to be really difficult because I thought all of the FNAF 4 teasers were spot on. Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Foxy, I thought they were all amazing. So they're all going to be pretty high. Nightmare Bonnie was another great one. And this is where Scott was doing the, was it me? Uh, to do with the bite of 87, right? Was it me? The bite. And Scott did that with the other ones as well. Who did the bite? Was it me? And I remember everybody talking about it. What has Bonnie done? Was it me? They're talking about the bite here? I'm going to put Nightmare Bonnie at an A. I think with this one as well, like when you brightened it up, like you saw text over it that said Nightmare or something uh, to show that these are called the Nightmare animatronics. Again, Nightmare Chica was another fantastic one. It's going to be an A. Nightmare Foxy. Now, this is where we got Foxy's iconic tongue. The tentacle tongue. And I'm pretty sure when you looked into Fox's eye, it said 87. I think one of Scott's changes was the bite, unless he was just teasing, saying, oh, is this the bite of 87? No, it's not. This is a different bite of a crying child getting bit by Fredbear. So again, I actually really like the Foxy one. I'm going to put Foxy at an S tier. I really, then again, I love all of them. I, honestly, guys, if this wasn't a video, I'd put them all on S tier, to be honest. But I've got to be more strict. I put Bonnie on S, S tier, to be honest. Now we've got Fredbear's hat and bow tie on the floor where the Freddy hat was. It got a lot of people excited, this one did, seeing the reflection on the floor. And I'm pretty sure this teaser had property of Fredbear's family diner for this one to confirm, you know, this is Fredbear. Something about Fredbear's family diner is going to happen in FNAF 4. Really, 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 really cool teaser. Uh, didn't really show much. It was, it was a little bit teasy. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to put this one at a C. I'm going to be stricter with that one. I'm going to put it at a C. Mainly because of the next teaser that overshadows it completely. This one was pretty iconic. I, I, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of you guys remember this one as well. If you were watching FNAF back in the day. And I think we all did know this was Fredbear because it wasn't like Freddy this time. It was a different body and a massive head and jaw. It's got a set of jaws in its stomach. And I remember everybody going crazy about this one. Seeing how withered it was as well. I love the colours in this. It's black and white with the purple bow tie standing out. This one was amazing. I'm actually going to put this here. And I'm actually going to move Chica down, um, thinking about it more. Uh, I think Fredbear, I think the Fredbear one stands out more. So we'll be more strict and move things around. We'll change these around a little bit. When The more I look at them, they're like, hold on a sec. These are like the iconic teasers, like I said, from FNAF 2 to FNAF 4 and Sister Location. Uh, these were iconic, man. All of the teasers were golden. And again, with this one, with Plush Trap, I... Loved this teaser, man. I absolutely loved the plush trap teaser. I remember being out. I was out with friends 
And I remember the teaser dropped and I couldn't drive. So I was like, dad, dad, please pick me up. I've got to get back to make a video. So yeah, this is a plush trap. We didn't know that back then. We thought it was spring trap, sat down on a chair. And with the iconic quote as well that we still remember to this day. Um, I do think this is iconic, you know. I, I really want to put it up. An S or an A. Because this, this one was really good. I, I loved this teaser, man. I'll keep it at an A for now. At the end, I might change things around. Uh, but for now, I'll put plush trap at an A. It could be an S, though. The next one, again, the end. Thanks for playing. I'm pretty sure when you brighten this one up, it was like, or is it, or something like that, or is it the end? Uh, teasing that, you know, something could happen after. Again, this one isn't really... It's just text, right? And we brightened it up and said, or is it? So we'll put it at a D. To be fair, I haven't really put anything on E because I've got so many tiers, right? We're not even going to have an F tier. Now, who remembers this? Now, this is when people were saying, that's it. That's the end of FNAF. Scott has said a thank you to everybody. Thank you for playing his games. That's it. FNAF is done. And I remember I remember everybody being like, oh, okay, I guess that is it then. That's the end. You know, FNAF 4 is the final chapter then. The teaser as a whole is great, by the way. I think it's a great teaser. Uh, again, most people will look back at this and remember this one. So I'm going to put this at S tier. It's not even a teaser, to be honest, guys. It's not even a teaser. The nostalgia, all of the teasers, all of the games, all of the Easter eggs, all of the story, looking back at it. So, yeah. That teaser means a lot to me. Um, and again, it made people think like, oh God, this is it then. It's the end. This is the end of FNAF. But of course not. FNAF always comes back like William Afton, but this time with a twist. This was the beginning of the FNAF world phase. And every day, every couple of days, one of the animatronics got changed into a FNAF world character. I thought that this was going to be a plushy game or something like that. Oh, like these are little toys. Scott's making like a plushy version of a game at like a toy factory or something. I don't think anybody really thought it was going to be an RPG at first, right? Um, the first changes. Now, obviously, I'm not going to rank all of these because there would be no point doing that. Um, we'll just do the first one and then the last one when it's finished. We'll put a first, the first one at a B. I think it was a nice little teaser that one thing got changed and he continued to do it over time. I remember making a video on each character, man. It was just a bulk bulk upload of videos each day of the character, just one, like a one minute video of the character getting changed. But then over time, each character changed, but then the fan queue started to turn into FNAF World. Is this going to be a horror game or is this going to be something completely different? And then I think at that point, everybody was like, yeah, this is going to be something different for a change. We've got to talk about before that and that was Game Theory's live stream. To this day, everybody talks about that live stream. It was a lot of fun. Theorizing about FNAF, looking back at it, thinking, oh my God, did Smoke say purple guy's a cop? <laughs> Scott decided to troll the live stream, right? And he gave us three little hints about the FNAF 4 story. I think the funniest one that everybody talks about still is Toy Chica missing her beak, right? Why is Toy Chica missing her beak in the minigame? I still don't think we really know the answer to that. And the other theory was the dream theory, right? So there was a dream theory that, you know, FNAF 1, 2, 3, etc. were all dreams. The toy animatronics didn't exist as real animatronics. It was because the bite victim... The bite victim saw the toys on the floor and then thought, oh, toy animatronics, oh, creepy. The, the toy Chica one, man. I might just do a meme and just put it at an E, mainly because we still don't know and Scott's, Scott's a troll. I'm going to put the toy Chica question as an E because it's a joke. So what's in the shadows is easily mis misunderstood in the mind of a child. This was to represent like the crying child in FNAF 4 seeing things in the darkness at the location. Um, so I am going to put these on S tier, mainly because it's iconic, right? The Game Theory live streams iconic. Scott interacting with us was iconic. I'm going to put them up there. And the next one again, four games, one story, same thing. If this was all in one, I'd put it at, a, 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 at an S tier. I can't really rank this one because it's the same. Um, four games, one story. Again, <sighs> I'll put, it at, uh, I'll put it at a D. It doesn't really say anything. It just shows, like, you know, FNAF 1 to 4 is its own story. FNAF World, man. 
So underrated. I hope one day I can look back at past Dorco and say, Dorco, FNAF World 2 did happen. It's there right now. You've done a let's play on it. FNAF 2's out. You've experienced it and it was amazing. FNAF World has a warm little place in my heart for nostalgic reasons. You know, playing it in February 2016 and then playing the update in hospital. I'll put it at an A. Put it at an A. After FNAF World, Scott decided to do a Halloween update for FNAF 4. This is when he changed the skins of the Nightmare Animatronics to Jacko Bonnie, Jacko Chica. Uh, new models, not just that. We've got Nightmare Mangle, we've got Nightmare On. Nightmare On, one of the most iconic characters now in FNAF VR. Uh, one of the best levels. One of the creepiest animatronics to live. This one at first, Jacko Bonnie. Uh, you know, it was it was cool to see at first, but it doesn't really show much. It's just Jacko Bonnie's head and bow tie. It was really cool. Uh, remember thinking about it. Oh my god, he looks like a jack o' lantern. Is something going to happen on Halloween? Didn't really show much though, so I am going to put um, Jacko Bonnie at a D. The next one of Nightmare Balloon Boy. Now this one was a lot better. Uh, seen Nightmare Balloon Boy for the first time. I'm thinking, what the heck? Balloon Boy, what the hell happened to you? So obviously now we know that Balloon Boy replaced Plush Trap, but back then we didn't know what the hell was going on. So Nightmare Balloon Boy was a great one with the hello in like the blood writing. I'm going to put Nightmare Balloon Boy at a B. Nightmare on. I think I remember this one being called Don't Wake the Baby. It was a reference to Markiplier's Let's Play. Really, really creepy seeing Nightmare on. Uh, on the bed, looking terrifying. Again, I'll put this one at a B. The one of Mangle, Nightmare Mangle, with the Halloween date as well. Really, really cool. Not really much to say about this one. It's just Nightmare Mangle. Uh, I'll put it at a C. Now, this is when we realise that, yeah, they are going to be reskins of the animatronics. This is Jacko Chica, and you can see behind Jacko Chica, it's the FNAF 4 hallway. I think at that point, we realised, yeah, it's going to be a Halloween update where we're going to go against... We're going to go against Halloween reskins of the animatronics. Um, again, I'll put this one at a C as well. Oh, the Mangle one. I remember this. People going crazy about this one. Um, so this was after FNAF World and people weren't happy with FNAF World. The FNAF World mangle's dead. FNAF World was a mistake. And still today, guys, I don't think Scott is happy with FNAF World. I think he looks back at FNAF World and cringes a bit, which I don't think he should, to be honest. FNAF World wasn't even that bad. I remember people thinking back then, like, oh, my God, this is it. This is extreme, even for Scott. I remember back then, I didn't really theorize about it. We just thought, like, you know... FNAF World's dead, it's done. Um, I'll just put it at a D, I guess. Cover of the Silver Eyes. This was the first time we got to see that, you know, a book is actually happening. And it had Freddy with the other animatronics in the back. It was a really cool shot, actually. I thought it looked awesome. This was a start. This was the start of the book era. I don't without the Silver Eyes, I don't think we'd ever have any of the books onwards. You know, Fazbear Frights, etc. I'll put it at a B. Um, I really like this cover, and it was exciting. We got a teaser of FNAF World Update 2 coming soon. I loved FNAF World Update 2. I didn't like where I was playing it <laughs> in the hospital, but it was still really good. Um, I put it as, at a C. The iconic Freddy in space getting it. S tier. No doubt about it. S tier for Freddy in space. I'm kidding. S tier. Sorry, Freddy. You're going to be an A. You'll get an A, though. Uh, I remember seeing this thinking it was hilarious. Thinking, oh my god, Freddy in space in FNAF World. This is crazy. I think these two coincide with each other. I'll show it you anyway. Again, these were happening when I was in hospital after update two. And it was the reveal of sister location. Now, I remember people trying to get it at first. We, we knew that the bottom bit was location. But we couldn't really figure out what the other parts were at first. So we, we thought it was going to be like a, a FNAF Origins, like back at Fred Bear's Family Diner, if I remember correctly. But yeah, the sister location reveal was absolutely insane. I remember making a video about this and going crazy. There was never just one. And seeing Baby in the background, you know, an upgraded, anim a new advanced animatronic. Iconic teaser. Reveal of sister location. It's going to get an S, I think. S tier. It's going to get an A from me, I think. Move it down from S to A. Because the next one, looking back, is a, a lot better. And this one's of Circus Baby. Again, I remember this one. It's going to be an S. Like I said, first reveals are always going to get an S from me. Of Circus Baby. 
sister location. I remember everybody thinking at first this was like a jester or something like that. Everybody thought the reflection of the nose showed spring trap. Uh, if you guys remember that. So yeah, circus baby, sister location reveal, S tier. To be fair, guys, all of these sister location teasers were pretty good. The ones with Ennard and the Biddy Babs were really, really cool. Uh, we have a button here. Get on the stage. I remember this. Get on the stage now. This was, was with the controlled shock. I put this at a D. The Biddy Bab reveal was really cool. I think I, I was with DA Games talking about this one. I liked this one. Not as good as the Ennard one, I would say. I put this one at a B. Ennard's was great. I really liked Ennard's. I remember thinking of back about this one. This one was like saying, there's a part of me and everybody or something like that. We didn't think all of the animatronics were going to get scooped and merged into Ennard, did we? Um, still a really cool teaser. Ennard is getting an A from me. We've got some really nice anniversary images as well. Uh, from Scott showing how Freddy Bonnie Chica was made and stuff. The office jump scares and spring trap. Uh, these were really nice behind the scenes footage. I'm just going to pick this one. Uh, we're going to put them all together. Not really a teaser, but just an anniversary image. Um, it was really nice to see behind the scenes and of, of, of Scott's work and stuff. I'll put it at a B. Cancelled due to leaks. I remember this one well. And when you brightened it up, you got some lore. Circus Baby's Pizza World. A man taking back the parts after the gas leak. Um, I remember everybody thinking, oh my god, the game is cancelled at first. But then they brightened it up to see it was a troll. Um, again, this one was cool. I'll put, I'll put it at a, at a B. We've got a map of the Circus Baby's rental service. And there was also the private room there as well that was hidden a little bit, which was really, really cool. I loved that. Um, the map, yeah, we'll put it at a C. Release date of Ennard's Mask. Didn't really show much. Just showed Ennard's, Ennard's Mask. I'll put this one at an E. Uh, didn't really show much. Just Ennard's Mask and the release date. The Custom Night DLC for... Sister location. Man, Golden Freddy mode. That threw me about a lot. Uh, I remember beating that and it was crazy. It was super, super difficult. But these teasers are really nice. I loved both of these. Um, I put them both on B because it was really nice to see that Scott was doing an update for Sister Location. Um, so yeah, Custom Night, both B tier. Then we got the images of the Twisted Animatronics. Now at first, I remember people thinking, you know, we're going to get a game about these really cool animatronics, right? But then obviously we thought, hold on, these are illustrations. So, you know, I remember there being a debate saying, is this going to be a game or is this going to be another book? Because it looks like an illustration. Now, obviously this ended up being the Twisted ones the twisted animatronics but these were still really really cool to see i'm gonna put all of them combined at a b this was an interesting one this is obviously showing that you know this is going to be scrap baby uh, with pizza simulator right um i think this was on the fnaf world website as well um showing baby was still here i'll put it at a c now we got some more anniversary images but these ones were different because we were getting hints about Pizza Simulator. Specifically, we got a scrap baby head in the back office behind the door. I remember seeing this. Uh, and people thought it was suspicious. Like, what the hell is this? This wasn't here before. Because of the mystery and stuff, I'm going to put this at an A tier. Scott was 100% teasing Pizza Simulator back then. This one was weird. I can't really remember this one. Um, it was of the Freddy plushie. Um, I think everybody thought this was going to be about uh, Night Marion or something or uh, or something like that. Not really much about this one. I'm just going to put it at an E. I don't think I don't remember it. If I don't remember it, then you know that's not a good sign. I remember this one. I think I was doing a charity stream at this one. I think this was in 2017. I think and this was like October 2017. I was carving pumpkins with my nan. And Scott posted a teaser. I remember 2017 being pretty dead. Uh, we didn't really get anything from Scott for a while. Uh, for the whole year, really, I'm pretty sure. Pizza Simulator came out in December, right? Um, of 2017. The whole year, it was pretty dead. We didn't really get anything. I remember I remember the teasers being really dry. It was a really dry year for FNAF. So, yeah. Um, it didn't really show much, though. And again, for the whole year, it was pretty dead for teasers. So I'll put this one at a C. And then we got Circus Baby closing her eyes. Um, so yeah, 
I'll just put this at level with the other one. Uh, of baby having her eyes closed and open. Then we got the iconic Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. Now, I remember everybody thinking at first, oh, this is going to be one of Scott's troll games, if you remember. It was, by the way. It technically was. Oh! We're going we're gonna to tear this at the initial reaction. And I think a lot of people's initial reactions were like, oh, it's just, you know, one of Scott's little mini game troll game things. And I don't think this got a lot of people excited at first. So I'll put it at a D. Again, mainly because of the initial reaction to it. You know, not seeing a model of an animatronic, just seeing an, just seeing an 8 bit sprite after a year uh, of not having anything. I think a lot of people were like, oh, okay, it's just a troll, you know, it's just a little mini game, troll game thing. Ultimate custom nice. Wow. I remember the first reveal of this, just seeing a grid and everybody thinking, oh, this could be a character reveal, what's going on? Uh, it didn't show much, but again, it showed that Scott's not finished after Pizza Simulator. It's not over. Even after everybody thought that Pizza Simulator was the last one, everybody got burnt to death. It's over. That's it. But no, Ultimate Custom Night. At first, it was just a grid. There's not really much to say about this one. So I'll put this one at a C. I'll put this one at a, at a D. Uh, at, at, at the initial thing, right? You know, it's just a grid. That's literally it. It's literally just a grid. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them. Obviously, over time, characters got revealed. I'll, I'll, I'll do the one with them all revealed. Seeing all of the characters back uh, for a custom night game was really, really cool. I'll put it at an A. It was really awesome. This one was awesome. Seeing the new office for Ultimate Custom Night was really, really nice to see. I'll put it at an A. It was nice to see a brand new office. Brand new mechanics, a vent in front of us and the vents at the side, etc. Then we got the bar update to show, you know, the progress. This happened uh, in every every couple of weeks or so, the progress bar. Um, it was really nice to show Scott, you know, keep... Scott was interacting with the fan base still, showing he's still working on the game. I'll put it at a C. I remember doing videos on these when I was on holiday, I'm pretty sure. Scott showing even more characters after the initial roster of Ultimate Custom Night was awesome. I put this one at a, at a B. It shocked people, to be honest. I remember people thinking, oh my god, more characters after the initial ones? What is going on? DD was the first one. I remember seeing that and everybody was like, what? DD? DD was the reveal? So I put that one at a C. All of them together. Shadow Bonnie, Plush Trap, Nightmare Chica, uh, Bonnet, the Mini Arenas, Lolbit. This was cool to see them all here again. A big reveal. Uh, again, I'm kind of rushing this part. I don't want to keep just doing them separately. I just want to round it up all together. This was really cool. I put this one at a B. This one was awesome. Now, the last one was awesome for a reveal. I remember everybody going crazy about this one. Uh, of Fredbear. Now, this Fredbear was different, though. Because it wasn't Nightmare Fredbear. And it wasn't exactly like Golden Freddy. This was a different Fredbear. Because of the reveal of Fredbear and nothing else on the screen, just seeing Fredbear on the roster, an A. Now, obviously, on the final version of Ultimate Custom Night, it wasn't really anything. It was just a jump scare and some garble in a deep voice. And that was it for a while, guys. Uh, we didn't really get much uh, for a bit. FNAF VR, to me, is iconic. I, I still think FNAF VR, to me, is one of the best FNAF games that we ever had. It got Steelwall into FNAF, which obviously led to... Uh, security breach. Um, FNAF, FNAF VR is still one of the best games to play in VR. It was amazing. Uh, obviously, back then, for the teaser, we didn't really know that this was FNAF VR at first. We thought, what the heck? Why is Freddy attached to... Uh, why is Freddy attached to Spring Bonnie and Foxy and all the other characters, like, all formed together? It's like a monster. What is going on? But it was still, for the teaser, it was awesome. Unfortunately, I think they did use some fan ren like fan renders or something of like the Spring Bonnie one or something. Um, so that did get removed eventually. But the teaser as a whole, I think this was great. I'm gonna put it at, a, at a, I'm gonna put it at, at an A, showing all of the games intertwined together, obviously because of FNAF VR. Um, yeah, an A. Again, I'm gonna put these ones all together. We got some uh, hidden teasers from Scott. Showing gameplay screenshots of FNAF VR. This one was really cool again. I think this was before the trailer too. 
Uh, so it was really cool to see some awesome screenshots. So again, it's got to be an A. I know I keep saying FNAF VR is awesome, but that's because it is. And these teasers of the gameplay were awesome. Then we got the reveal of FNAF VR Help Wanted. I think this was when the trailer was shown, the PlayStation Showcase thing. I think it was like March 2019 or something like that. I think I just got back from the cinemas. Uh, I remember reacting to it. Um, but yeah, this is the reveal of Help Wanted. Again, really cool poster. Uh, but because we, we already see saw it before, um, I will put it at a B. I'll put this one at a B because we've already seen it and stuff. But still, uh, that B is still good, by the way. B is still amazing. I'm putting that back to B. I'm putting the Fredbear one to B. What am I on about? Yeah, these, these might change, by the way, looking more at them. Yes, I remember the reveal of Security Breach back in 2019. It's crazy to think when that was actually teased, right? Uh, with the release of 2020, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, that changed dramatically and the game got bigger and bigger over time. The initial teaser of showing, you know, an alligator. I can't remember if we thought that was Bonnie or there was, there was a Bonnie there. Obviously, Bonnie's not there. I am going to put it at, at an S because it's Security Breach and it was the first reveal. And I remember everybody getting really excited about that teaser. Um, so yeah, FNAF 58, I remember this uh, making a lot of people think, what is going on? Uh, but then we got the Freddy in Space 2 reveal, right? And this is obviously for uh, Matt Pat's charity stream uh, back in December, 2019. The 58 thing, I don't remember thinking of too much about this one. Uh, I thought it was just a troll. Um, I don't remember getting too excited about it. Again, I can't remember. I can't remember every teaser. I'll put that one at an E because I can't really remember that one, to be honest. I think it was brief. The Freddy in Space 2 poster. I remember uh, everybody looking at Rock. That's Roxanne, which is kind of hilarious to think about now. That Oh, wow, that was Roxanne. So we did get a reveal of Roxanne before we even knew it. Uh, a C. Um, to a C. I'll put it at a C. If this was about the live stream, though, like thinking, oh, yeah, Freddy in Space 2, the actual game, it would be an, an S tier because the, the game's iconic and Matt Pat's charity stream I'll remember forever. It was one of the best experiences of my life, Matt Pat's stream and Freddy in Space 2 being included as well as the Poop It boss fight and that iconic song. This one actually had the reveal of Vanny on as well uh, in the background. This happened after the Curse of Dreadbear DLC. I'm pretty sure, I think, showing Vanny. Yeah, it did, I'm pretty sure. So this was when we saw Vanny again, back after Curse of Dreadbear. Uh, the, the, these teasers were really cool. Um, I'm going to put a Glamrock Freddy at, at an A. Five Nights at Freddy's AR. Um, I remember seeing this on the website. I was really excited. Again, something else, special delivery. Something new with FNAF again, coming to mobile and AR experience. I loved this teaser. It was awesome. I'll put it at an A. I don't know what's going on with FNAF AR now, by the way. We haven't had an update about it for a long time uh, at all this year, I don't think. Um, so I really hope we get some news about it soon. Even if it gets, you know, it's finished. I'd just like to hear it from Illumix, like what's going on with it. And if it's done now, if it's finished. Uh, I had some good moments with FNAF AR. They did their first teaser though, I was really excited. So, and A. Uh, again, I'm going to group these two together. Uh, this is a Fetch and Lonely Freddy. And this was obviously to tease Fazbear Frights, okay? This was the first reveal of Fazbear Frights, these books. I don't think at first we knew what was going on, but because it was an illustration, I think people obviously thought that... I think people initially thought, yeah, this is an illustration. This is about the books. I'll put them at a C. Uh, wasn't too excited about these. I saw the dog animatronic and Lonely Freddy, and I thought, oh, my God, okay, we've got a dog animatronic now. Uh, but I think people did think... I think people did know that this was for the books. Monty. Now again, I've got to, I've got to rank these, you know, after the first one, you know, um, but I'll, I'll lower it to a B just because the hype dwindled down a little bit less because it's, you know, it's just the same poster really. Then we got the reveal of the title on ScottGames.com. I think this was, this was after the trailer anyway. Um, but you know, seeing the title on ScottGames.com was really excited. A brand new game, Security Breach. I'll put it at a, B, at a B. This is for the teaser, not the trailer or anything. This is just the teaser on Scott's website. If it was the trailer, I'd put it at an S tier. 
Um, just for the image, though, just the logo reveal, uh, B. We've got a first glimpse at Vanessa, which was really cool. Seeing Protect, this was the reveal of Vanessa. Um, this wasn't... We didn't really know much about Vanessa at this point at all. This was a big theory topic about who this Night Guard is. Now, obviously, we thought that this is who we're going to be playing as. We're going to be playing as this Night Guard. We're going to be... Um, we're going to be playing as this night guard. We're going to be protecting something. We don't really know what yet. Protect the kids or something. I tier. Yeah. Um, Vanessa's reveal was really cool. The same thing with Vanny, guys, to be honest. Vanny is getting an A as well. Um, I love both of these teasers both together. They're, they're the opposites, protect and obey. We already knew Vanny at that point, remember, because of Curse of Dreadbear and um, the reveal on the little uh, the bridge. But seeing a full reveal of Vanny holding a knife as well, which was pretty dark. Um, yeah, it was really cool. An A tier. And then the final teasers, which did come out a while. I remember that these two took a while to come out of Chica and Roxy. For some reason, he didn't do them in order. He did like um, Vanessa and Vanny and then, and then Chica and Roxanne, which was weird. It's like he forgot about them. He forgot to put them on the website. Again, these are the same. Uh, I can't really rank these because they're just the same as Monty and Freddy. Because of the delay of the, these two teasers, they should have come out before Vanessa and Vanny, to be honest. Um, but I'll still be fair to them. I would put them at a C because of that reason. You know what I am? Because of the delay, um, because of the delay from Scott about posting them, it kind of died the hype down. And, you know, that that's why if they were released all at once like a little like a couple of weeks after each one or a month or so um after monty i'd put them at b but because of the delay and the fact that they came out after vanessa and vanny um i put them there put them on c because of that I'm gonna have one more final look see if i need to swap anything around by the way these aren't ranked so all of these on b are all b like security breach isn't better than the original freddy etc they're all the same I don't want to make it too complicated. It's already been an hour and a half recording this, so... I also don't know whether some of the teasers have been missed. I can't remember. There's been so many teasers that I can't remember. Okay, guys. I think I'm happy with that. I was debating to put the the grand reopening on S tier as well, to be honest. I am. I'm going to move Freddy to S. Um, the more I look at it, the more I remember it. To be honest, if you want, if you want me to be deadly honest, this was difficult, man. All of the A, like most, some of these A's, like No Place to Run, Nightmare Bonnie and stuff and Fred, but I'd put on S tier, but I want to try and be more strict with things and make it more difficult for me. You guys know I'm very laid back with things and I, I don't really be critical with things. I usually try and find as many good things as possible rather than negatives about things. Let me know what you guys think. Are you happy with my choices or would you change things? Feel free to go on it if you want to, guys. I'll put a link in the description. This was really fun to make. It brought back a lot of good memories with the teasers with FNAF as a whole. Uh, really good time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Lots of love and I'll see you all next time.